Welcome back to part two of how to do a power off stall. So where we left off was introducing your flaps. So you've already pulled your power and you're holding your nose level with the horizon just to kind of bleed that airspeed off. And you want to introduce flaps and in increments. So what I like to do is I'll introduce my first notch at 90 knots, second notch at 80 knots, third notch about 75 or 70 knots. Just an easy way to remember when to introduce each one and it's just kind of nice and as a, it's a very methodical way of doing it. So that's why I like to introduce the flaps. So once you have all your flaps in and your airspeed is very low, what you want to do is, once again, this ties into simulating that you're coming into land. You want to do a slight dip, maybe five degrees below the horizon. And you just want to dip down for about three to five seconds. So I say slight dip, so in other words, you want to push the nose down just a little bit, just below the horizon, just to simulate that you're coming into land. And then after you do that, the fourth thing you want to do in getting yourself into the stall is pull the nose up above the horizon about 10 degrees. So you're going to pitch the nose up about 10 degrees and hold it there. So this can be considered the simulation of the flare. So pitching up, that will really bleed off the rest of the airspeed and shortly after you will begin to stall. So signs that you are stalling, about to stall, or have stalled. So once you pitch up and you have all of these things complete, once you pitch up about 10 degrees, you're going to very shortly after hear the stall horn go off and you're going to feel a buffet, which basically means your flight controls are going to kind of vibrate, which means that that loss of lift is about to occur and you're about to kind of drop down below the horizon, your noses at least. So that's, and your stall horn will also go off, I don't know if I mentioned that. So that's how you know a stall is occurring or about to occur. So that's important as well because you need to be aware if you are experiencing any of those or notice any of those things happening, that means you're about to have a stall or you have stalled. So so the next part of this, once you've stalled, you want to recover from the stall. Um, so this is the part that's very important. This is getting yourself into it. You don't ever want to do this, but this is how you get into it to simulate it. So the next part, we'll start number one here again.